Good evening. My name is John Reynolds, R-E-Y-N-O-L-D-S, from Woonsocket, Rhode Island, or as I like to call it, the cultural epicenter of the known world. Yeah. I am here tonight in this wonderful town to oppose this power plant. Now, back in January, on the 6th, the Woonsocket City Council invited concerned citizens of both communities to voice their concerns about Invenergy LLC, about a proposed energy generating plant here. The information given the officials in Woonsocket in January during the presentation before the public forum was exposed later that week as fraudulent. The citizens of Boroughville came to historic Harris Hall to speak to our council before the vote for the approval of selling our water rights to Invenergy was taken. The city council rightly denied them those water rights with a five to two vote. And by the way, that was the same night that Johnston had their debacle. And it was also known that it, they were paid off to do that too. By the way, didn't there used to be more of us? I'm here to tell you guys that we got your back too, bro. Okay? Hold on. Invenergy's initial application with EFSB was fraudulent and incomplete. Earlier this year, they stated that a $94 million agreement was signed in Burville because, quote, there are dollars Burville needs to fill a budget deficit, unquote. Budget deficit? <laughs> no, 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 that's not Burville because in contrast to so many of the states, towns, and cities, Burville has been fiscally responsible for the last two decades, and that's a fact, Jack. In energy in their presentation on March 31st, my birthday, so your shopping days begin now, uh, claimed that Burville and Rhode Island electric ratepayers would save $280 million in just the first three years of operation, $120 million in the first year alone, but that too is a lie. Invenergy and the whole power industry in New England knows it. This all came out in sworn testimony before the state PUC last June and July. You see, boys and girls, Invenergy's promises to Rhode Island are as solid as those by Governor Raimondo's, and I'm not holding my breath. I pointed out in January that Invenergy is not playing with a full deck, and you all know it. I'm JR, and I approve this message. Holler if you hear me. Thank you, sir.